live, rolling, recording, you know how it is. Uh, back at Self Made, and we're hitting shoulders today. And um, I'm all bunged up, man. My hate people's killing oh, hold me. Hold on, you look different. There's something different about you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're engaged. That's, That's right. right. That's right. right. That's right. right. That's right. right. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, guys, um, yeah, we're hitting shoulders today, and we're going to hit unilateral work. So, for you guys that don't know what that is, it's basically just using one side or the other, you know? Um, and it's, it's a great way to um, isolate uh, certain muscles. And uh, it's a great way to actually see which side's stronger, you know, things like that. Like, so it's, it's, it's got so many benefits, which we'll go over while we're hitting it. So uh, that's what today is about. As usual, always starting light for me. Like, um, I always tell you guys there's a reason, you know, you need to get your joints warm, you need to get the blood flowing, and you need to get the, uh, like, lubricant in your, in your joints, you know, before, before you start. And the only way that your body is going to recognize that is from the actual movement. So when I'm doing that with a lightweight, just getting the blood in there, ready for um, the bigger weight. Because if you, if you go straight for a heavy weight, that's when you're more likely to get an injury, you know? When, you're, when, when uh, the, the, the blood's not there and um, the joints aren't warm, so. When you're doing this exercise, I didn't watch Mike's set, but probably doing exactly the same thing. You're gonna find yourself wanting to put your hand, your other hand somewhere. You can leave it hanging if you want, but I find, more comfortable just to have it here and helps me balance. Just a balance in the Otherwise, your hands are all like this, the way even though I'm looking all, yeah, looking all funny. <laughs> so, I slept on my shoulder. I keep sleeping on it and I hurt it when I do that. Um, I actually bring my hand out here a little bit. Oh yeah? Yeah, but it's like you said, it's still balanced. It's still balanced, like, yeah, balanced. that's my point. Like, you gotta find a way that, that fits you. It's a really testing exercise for you guys. Like, if you haven't done this before, when you actually do start going heavy, you're gonna get a shock of your life because your core comes into play. Your balance comes into play. It's difficult. It's not, it's not like a regular, you know, sitting on a shoulder press machine or even when you're doing a seated shoulder press. This is different. When you're standing up, you've only got one hand. Trust me, like, form is everything. So make sure you pay attention. Yeah, activate all those stabilizers. You, you're working all of this. Even in your legs, you're keeping your body cold. My left side, I find it a lot more difficult than my right side. Um, might make itself more evident when it gets heavier, but this is something this particular about unilateral training that it, it can identify, like you know, imbalances. You know? So you found that's yours. Yeah, left yeah side. my left side. You know what I mean? It looks really good. It's the shit that the, the strong men do. Exactly. If you've ever watched a strong man competition, they get some huge, and I mean huge, I mean even the handle is probably about this big, dumbbell, and then they swing it onto their shoulder, and then it's all about, you know, getting it up. Just you feel your delt, you're just getting the biggest pump, man. Yeah, Alright, let's see if the old man got the team. <laughs>
gonna rep out, but I just wanted to hit one heavy one, man. One heavy one. I think I'm gonna touch that 100. Hopefully, I get it. But I just wanted to touch one. I'm gonna touch one. Hey! This one and everyone's way. Why don't you take it off the rack? You wanna press the away? I ain't looking over there. As soon as I take it off the ground, my shoulders will go down.
saying it in all the videos that I do, when you're training any muscle group, you need to hit every angle. So right now, we're working on the medial deltoid. So that's this here, this strip down here. You're gonna see that we're gonna do an exercise for each head of the deltoids. Here's the posterior, this is the mid deltoid, and the anterior at the front there. Um, when I train, along with the delts, I include a traps workout. Not, not everyone does that, you know, but I, I, I like to. I don't normally finish with a traps workout. But what you're gonna see is we're gonna hit every muscle, every head of the deltoid today. Cannot build a balanced physique if you don't isolate the muscle groups. It's just not gonna happen in, like, with wishful thinking. You can't just do one or two shoulder exercises, not having a clue what you're doing, you know, just choosing them like willy-nilly. Ah, oh, I feel like I'll do this today. I feel like I'll do that. Don't get it twisted. When we choose exercises, it still fits with the structure of I have to hit my anterior, I have to hit my mid, I have to hit my posterior, I have to hit my traps. So you can choose from a variety of exercises, there's so many, but you need to make sure you're targeting. You're targeting every time. That's chest, that's legs, always targeting and make sure everything gets hit. Like, it, it makes no sense to me that you're in the gym and you don't know what you're working. You know, if I point to a muscle, you don't know what it's called. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you're in there trying to train. You're trying to bodybuild, but you don't know the name of the muscles. Gotta know what you're working with, man. So, what's your opinion on lat raises? whether bent arm or straight arm because i do both yeah depending on the weight yeah. 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 yeah yeah so sometimes yeah. if i'm seated you're gonna see quite a bend in my elbows yeah, but i don't even know if there is even a difference i got something like, for you go ahead because yeah. sometimes uh i'll do them on a machine yeah you know, and it's bent yeah and so yeah in my opinion yeah, yeah. See, I'm always focused on the actual muscle that's supposed sure. to be being worked. Yeah. If if I feel it being engaged, sure. right? Yeah. So, if I if I got my arms out, yeah. as long as I know I can feel it, yeah, I'm good. Cause that's I know or that I know even that even if if it's bent, yeah. But see, I don't like to bend it with dumbbells, yeah. Because I feel like the weight is down here, and I feel like I'm not getting it as much okay. here. Yeah. yeah. But I can I just it's a justification yeah. of bending on the machine, yeah. Because the weight is evenly distributed. But as long as I can feel it getting worked, it, it's all good. Because for me, I know one big question mm -hmm. that they're going to ask is that. Yeah. You know, straight arm or bent arm. Yeah. Should my arm be bent? How bent should I, it be? But Et standing, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty straight, but it's a yeah. slight bend, naturally. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like a slight bend, yeah. you know? And here, I don't know what you guys do, but yeah. with, with, when I'm using both sides, yeah. I don't come from here yeah. because I, it's a little momentum you can get. Yeah. Yeah. Here, it's like... a. It's dead. Tension's already created from there. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's power. You yeah, gotta really, yeah, yeah. You, know? you gotta do it. Yeah. And it, neither one builds the body better than the other. Yeah. This is harder to do, but it makes you stronger. Yeah. And I think that's always more impressive. Sure. You know sure. what I mean? You? But but in bodybuilding, mm -hmm. you don't have to be that strong. Mm -hmm. it don't, it's, it's not you're a building thing. muscle. The size yeah. of you're building yeah. muscle. You're yeah. sculpting it. It's an art. Yeah. yeah. But right. I respect that shit. Yeah. Right. But I want to be strong. <laughs> you know what I'm it's good. <laughs> See, with me, no matter if I'm doing laterals, yeah. curls, whatever, yeah. I always go with the same theory that I walk with a slight bend in my arm. So okay. rather from curling, yeah. I only go back to here. Yeah, yeah. If I'm um, doing lateral raises, I keep that same bend. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. Because I, I, I don't do this. Yeah. So, and the only reason why I don't do this is because that's when you get a lot of attention to the elbow later. You're like, damn, why my elbow yeah. is so no. sensitive? That's, you know? that's, I was telling Sim about it earlier. Like in boxing, mm -hmm. like you, you develop tendonitis from that hyper that over extension. It. Sure. So you're right, like having your shit like that. Yeah. First yeah, of all, it, it looks, looks weird now. Yeah, it's like being. Yeah, it's like a weird yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of us are walking yeah. like yeah. straight yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Right. And the only thing that I feel, the only thing that I feel we should go with a, a, a all the way bend is like when we doing. Trust it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But everything else, yeah. it's, it's just like when I do my my lateral raises, I keep a, I keep that same bend, like no matter what it is. The reason why I asked the question is because I saw you doing it. And I, and I know that when I do seated, I'm always like got a slight bend. So I just yeah. wanted to, and I know that they always ask, like, should my arms be bent or straight, bent or straight? Yeah. But they ask as in if it's an either or. Yeah, and it's it, not, yeah, it's not. It's you know? not.
high should we go? You're going until it's, it's to your full, the full, until your, the muscles fully flexed. You don't need to come up here by your head. Not while I'm fucking training, come on, man. <laughs> so just take note. You know, if any of you haven't done it before, take note of the form. You know, you're pretty much going parallel with, um, with your head. Sometimes it might go a little bit up, but you really don't try and overextend, you know? Right. <laughs> See that? From here, it's parallel to, 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 with your shoulders. Control it on the way down. So, yes, you want the power as it comes up, but you control it as it slowly comes down. Another tip for you guys, if you don't want to use cables, or if the cable machine's being used, find a wall, hold on to it, lean, and there you go. I'm sure you've seen people doing it. It's been the side laterals, just like that. So, try that one. There's always a, 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 a pattern with um, shoulder, shoulders day. So, it starts with a compound movement. It's gonna be a big press. Either we're gonna be military. Uh, today, obviously, we did a single dumbbell. Um, can be machine press, whatever. You're gonna start with a big press, compound movement, hit the whole deltoid. Then you've just seen us hit the medial delts with our lat raises, side, <clears throat> side lateral raises. Then we hit the front or the anterior. Now we need to hit the posterior. The exercise I'm gonna do now, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna have our head leaned on an incline bench. Uh, we're only doing today's unilateral work, so in fact, come over, let me show you. So, put something down here, rest my head on it, like this, and hold onto the bench here. Dumbbell, mm. down here, I'm gonna raise it up. Raise it up to hit my uh, posterior deltoid. Another, you might have seen this exercise done without the bench, and that's with, uh, the reason we need the bench is obviously because we're doing it unilaterally, but you can do it with two dumbbells and your head's down, and it's just like that, which you might have seen. You can just also do that on the bench, but definitely if you're doing it unilaterally, it's good to use the bench to get that movement and keep your posture. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so there's two ways you can do this. You can roll, which I think hits it a lot better, it feels much better, oh, or yeah, yeah. you can fly it like that. I feel there's more control of the weight if you roll it, so I'm gonna roll. Every routine has to have a plan.
most people think that you go straight down, but you stop in your full extension, that full stretch to actually keep the um, the muscle pumping the blood. You're going all the way yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. that, 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 You're going towards the middle. Full, yeah, so you can get that, that full stretch. stretch. You see that? Look at that. Like that. And then bring it out. So not just down, because that's that's not the end. It's, it's bring it in, get that stretch, and then pull it out. Mm -hmm. awesome. Damn. That's crazy. All these years I've been training, I thought I was the only one that do it this way. <laughs> and this dude doing exactly how I'm doing. That's freaking crazy. Today we hit shoulders, you know that will work. Um, as I said, please guys, have a structure to your routine, man. Like, just don't go in there and say, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Like, sure, you're gonna have a good workout, but if, if you're after a specific thing, which is building a balanced physique, you need to know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, that's what we've done today. So, um, me and uh, Mac just finished, Mac had to rush off. What's the channel? TheMacTruck.com. Guys, go check it out, I'm gonna put it at the bottom. And um, keep subscribing, keep watching, more videos coming. Peace out.